Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be verifying that the full swing kit um, really does read carry to the number. I have uh, Derek out next to the green. We're going to hit some 50 yard shots here. Then we're going to move out to 100, 150. And then we're going to go ahead and hit some drives. And we're just going to verify that it's really reading the carry and how close is it. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to go stand right to the pitch mark. I'm going to laser to him with my Bushnell and we're going to see what the carry is on full swing kit versus what the laser says and see how close it really is. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so that landed pretty close to the flag. We got 48 yard carry, exactly 48 yards to Derek. So that was perfect. Okay, that one should be a little longer. Oh yeah. So I flew the green on that one. Got 61 carry. <laughs> we have exactly 61 to Derek. So that was really good. Let's try one more and then we'll go ahead and move it because it's doing a great job. I'm not doing any chips or pitches. Um, I've had a couple meetings with the guys at Full Swing and one of the things that they, they've said is that it's, it does have a short game mode, but it's, it's only dedicated to the E6 simulator software but the, um, a, a short game mode is coming for their app. So once, that's, once that releases, we'll, uh, we'll come out and test it. But for now, it doesn't, it's, not, it's not meant to do any shots under 40 yards. So that's why we're starting at 50. Okay, it should be a little shorter. Rolled out right next to the flag. We got 45 yards on full swing. 45 yards. So it's uh, batting a thousand. Um, let's go ahead and move it out to hundred yards. Okay. That one's a little short. Got 92 on full swing and we got 93 to Derek. So within a yard is very, very good. Okay, probably still a little short of 100, 95. Getting a couple different, I got 96 and 94 on the Bushnell. So split it, that's 95. So it, it's again, right on the number. Let's do one more to see if we can actually get it to the 100 yard mark. It is <laughs> very cold outside today. So I think I have to swing a little harder than normal. Okay, so that may be just a little bit longer than 100, 105, 105 on the number. So full swing, 100 yards to 50 to 100 yards um, is doing an absolutely fantastic job. All right, guys, so now we're on the 17th green here at Riverwalk. It's about 150 yards to the middle of the green. Um, I have an eight iron, 150 yards. It's still really cold outside, I can see my breath. So hopefully I can get this there. Um, otherwise, I'll just switch it to a seven. So hit a few more shots and then we'll go ahead and move out to driver distance. Okay, drawing a little left. Oh, a little long. So I expect that to be a little bit, maybe a little bit more than 150. No, 150 on the number there. All right, so I got 152 to Derek. Uh, so within a couple yards, that's really good. Um, I'd say that's, that's exact enough. Okay, pitched on the back edge of the green, 149. So I got 151, adjusted with slope, 149. So that's exact. I'll hit one more, but as far as wedges and irons, I think it's pretty validated that the full swing kit is exceptional at, at reading the, the carry distance outdoors. So let's do one more just to validate but I am, I am more than satisfied that, that we're getting really good numbers. Ooh, fat one. Hopefully that gets over. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that was a really chunky eight iron. Only carried 127, 128. I think we just validated that the full swing kit um, tracks the ball very, very well. Oh, here comes my drone. 
How cool is that? <laughs> Just lands on its own. That's awesome. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and move out to a driver distance, hit a few, see if the carry numbers are good, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up. I'm uh, set up right at the 250 yard marker here on the 15th hole. Derek's over by the green. I'm gonna try to hit it with driver. Um, it's still, yeah, I can still see my breath. It's still pretty cold outside, so 250 is probably the max I'm gonna carry it today. So let me see if I can hit three or four. Hopefully we can uh, hit some good ones. Um, I'm only gonna keep the ones that he actually can see it pitch to. So if you see some shots that look like they were cut out, it's just because he couldn't find the, the exact pitch point because I don't want him measuring to, to a guess. So let's go ahead and hit a few. Okay, it's going a little right. He says he sees it. <laughs> Only got 239 carry. 158 ball speed. I hit that pretty good, so it just shows you how much the uh, the cold can take off a take off a shot. So I'm getting 246. Full swing has me seven yards short. It's still really close. Let's give it a few more. Oh, it's going to be in almost the exact same spot. Maybe a little shorter. Didn't hit it very well. Yep. Landed right next to that trap. 229 about 159 ball speed that's pretty short for that ball speed let's see where he's at he's at 239 so 10 yard difference almost the exact same spot well i saw where that pitched to so i'll know if he's in the right spot or not 228, 236, so eight yards off. So it's consistently reading seven to 10 yards short. Let's hit another one. Okay, better, still not gonna make the green. Oh, that's gonna be on the green. It says 238 carry, and I'm getting 244. So again, a little short, six yards. 5.9 ball speed, yeah. Those ball numbers look pretty good. Just everything's sh everything short because it's cold outside. Okay, not the great strike, but good line. Okay, that pitched on the green, so he'll, he'll be able to see the exact point. That's what I was looking for, 239. Almost identical to the last shot, a little faster ball speed. 245. So again, six yards off. What's really interesting is how short the carry distances are. So on that one, I swung at almost 110, ball speed of almost 164. I mean, I would expect like a 280, 270, 280 carry. The spin wasn't super high. Strike was okay, but I only got like 239 of 244. It just shows like cold makes a big difference. Okay, so we've hit 50, 100 yards, 150 yards, and we hit some 250 yard driver. Um, you know, my conclusion is it, it does a great job. The driver, it was reading it a little short of actual. It's a long ways away. Um, I think this product is going to get better over time. I did meet with their team since my last review a couple times, um, including hitting balls with this right next to TrackMan and GC Quad simultaneously, um, and, and it kept up with them really well. So for the, a $5,000 price point compared to the, the, the big dogs in the game, um, I think this is a great unit. Um, I'm gonna do a few more reviews. I am gonna do head-to-head -head versus the GC3, or in the, I have the Bushnell Launch Pro Edition. And then I am going to do an updated review indoors and outdoors since their last update because they were able to implement the RCT ball which just in my testing completely fixed the backspin issues I was having. Um, there's still a couple little quirky things, but I think their team's doing a great job on making improvements to this unit. So if I had to recommend it based on today, um, I would say it's a great product, go get it. You're gonna be very happy you did. So until next time, see you soon. Also, if you would like and subscribe to this video, that would really help me out.